Hey, it's Lo, and this is the Diaries of a Dreamer. I'm here with YouTuber Gunnar Gomez, who is a dreamer that you can find making his mark on the entertainment industry on the internet. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So tell us, how did you get started on YouTube? I started my sophomore year making YouTube videos, and they were completely horrible. <laughs> I made them, I believe, about baseball tutorials, and <laughs> yeah, that didn't last very long. <laughs> I, I made those for about two weeks and immediately I just shut down the channel because I was like, this is too much for me. It's kind of weird in a sense. And about half, half a year later, um, I want to say my junior year or senior year of high school, I restarted my channel. It was more of like an exercise channel and lifting weights and stuff. And that I found a lot more interest in and it kind of kept me going in that aspect. Uh, and that's kind of... That's kind of how I started. That's started. cool. Yeah. So how long has it been now that you've been having your channel? Um, I think it's been almost three years. So long. how have you seen it evolve since you started it three years ago? It's definitely evolved a lot. Um, I When I first started out, it took me almost a year and a half to get past the 100 subscriber mark. Uh -huh. So it, <laughs> it was really difficult. But um, since I moved out here to LA, it's definitely taken off a lot quicker than I thought it would. Mm -hmm. I've met the right people and I was, I'm just very blessed to be surrounded by the people that I am and that's a lot of what YouTube is, is um, it's a community. So YouTube is so exciting because mm -hmm. you have the power to make a video about anything, but yeah. how do you find the inspiration for each video that you post? It comes in all different areas. We grab the ideas from basically any place we can think of, mm -hmm. um, whether it's something that we did that was really stupid that we thought would be a hilarious video, um, like tripping on the sidewalk or something, mm -hmm. all the way to something as crazy as life-size whack-a-mole. Um, <laughs> we create a giant set and we hit each other with a blow-up hammer, right? <laughs> so it, it, it it, it comes from everywhere. Yeah. It's just you just take your life experiences and and whatever you find enjoyable and funny mm -hmm. and you make it into a video. What do you think your subscribers would be most surprised to know about you? My online presence is more nerdy and like kind of like to myself. Mm -hmm. um, in real life, I am very outgoing. I'll say hi to you. I was also a wrestler in high school, um, so I'm kind of tough. No, not really. <laughs> but um, I'm definitely not shy or anything to that extent. So this is the Diaries of a Dreamer mm -hmm. and this is all about just getting a glimpse into someone's journey in entertainment and also how dreaming big has impacted that. So what does dreaming big mean to you and how has it impacted your success? Hmm. I think um, the mindset is everything. So yeah. before I moved to LA, uh, I think Dreaming big is a huge part of that because if you're not reaching for a goal that you want um, That you want to reach there's no there's no drive behind what you're doing and mm -hmm. especially dreaming big is Really cool because if you if you have a goal that you don't necessarily think you're it might be too big for you or, or set the standard a little bit too high you surprise yourself with how much you work towards it and yeah. you can you can actually reach it you can you can achieve it dreaming big is huge when it comes to work ethic and uh, being driven and motivated in your experience how do you think the internet has transformed the entertainment industry I think it's drastically drastically changed it mm -hmm. um, a lot of the people that are getting movie deals and commercial deals are all based on the internet now if you look yeah. at Cameron Dallas if you look at um, all the Viners, they all are getting tons of commercial deals and they're the face of entertainment. The internet yeah. is the face of entertainment now. So what do you think the key to going viral is? Honestly, I really don't think there's a key to going viral. <laughs> I, if I knew how to go viral, yeah. I would. Um, yeah. And I would have already done it. So there, there are a lot of things that could help you go viral in terms of like tagging and, and analytics for your YouTube channel, but there's not really one key. 
What advice do you have for someone who wants to start a YouTube channel? Because it can be a little overwhelming because yeah. you have the power to choose the content and the responsibility to keep putting it out there and come up with ideas. Yeah, the main thing to start off your YouTube channel is just get content up there. Just you, There's cameras everywhere. You can film with your phone. You can film with um, a small little camera. You can film with basically anything. Just get videos up there. Mm -hmm. um, they don't even have to be edited at first. My first videos were horrible and everyone else's are horrible. <laughs> it's just how it works, right? So you just have to get videos up there and kind of break that barrier. A couple other things that are really big on YouTube is consistency. Just stay consistent and learn your trait. So mm -hmm. if you really want YouTube to work and you want YouTube to or your YouTube channel to succeed, look at other YouTube channels that are succeeding and what you want to do and figure out why those are succeeding yeah. and apply that to your channel. Well, thank you so much for being here no, today. thank you for having me. And thank you for watching. And be sure to subscribe to Diaries of a Dreamer for more and subscribe to Gunner's channel as well, which will be down yeah. below. And follow me on social media at low underscore gram for more and follow Gunner at, what's yours? Uh, gun Gums. It's gun kind of hard gums. to spell. That'll be down below as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.